gonna spend an entire week focusing on how to be productive. And this is gonna partially hold me accountable, but also partially give you guys some insight on how I manage to do so many different things in my life. I get this question often on how I'm able to do lash extensions and a full-time business and content creation and making sure I'm actually hitting my schedules and getting projects done on time. And I wanna give you guys some of my time management skills or time management tips for my skills and then also just inspire myself because I have been falling off a little bit. Let's talk about it. If you watch my YouTube channel, you'll know that I've been posting twice a week for the past, maybe, I don't know, this entire year, all of 2024. And I've just been falling behind on my Sunday posts for the past few weeks. And I've realized that it's just because I'm taking on too much and I need to kind of refine what I'm able to do. So I'm gonna be going back down to one a week and doing a post every single Friday on my YouTube channel. And then also doing like my Instagram reels and like all that stuff, the other things, as well as shorts on YouTube. But I do think one big tip I have for time management skills and just being able to like do so many things at once and being productive is to make sure it's within your means. Like you have to create, what are they called? Smart goals, specific, measurable, attainable, realistic, I think, and time efficient or timely, something like that. Basically making sure your goal is actually something you can achieve because if you're setting out goals that are like so and so insane and then you're making yourself feel bad because you're not able to hit them, there may be part of it that needs to be like, okay, you need to do a little bit more work. And then there might be part of it also where it's like, you might need to expect a little bit less and meet somewhere in the middle. And so for me, I need to do a little bit more work or well, maybe not because I've been consistent with my one a week posting, but I wanna be even better about what my video qualities are like each week. So I know that now that's a priority is making sure the video quality is really, really good for that one post a week. So I just think that's a really big tip because if you're trying to do too much and then getting mad at yourself for not being able to do it, like you're human, you literally have a certain amount of hours in a day, you do have a certain amount of capacity in your brain. And so I feel like just making sure your goals are actually something you can meet will help you a lot. Right now I'm about to pack my bag. We're gonna go to a little coffee shop. Shop. <laughs> Not me pulling on an accent all of a sudden, but we're going to a little coffee shop. I haven't done this in a while. I think it's been maybe like a month or so, but every time I work from a coffee shop, it makes me feel so inspired and like recharged and like, it's just nice to be around other people and to just see a new scenery. I've actually never been to this one before. So we're gonna go check out that coffee shop and get some work done. I'm bringing a little sweater just in case it's cold there. I don't think it would be, but I would hate to be working in cold. So we're just gonna bring that. I have my laptop, my charger, my AirPods, and then some sound canceling, noise canceling headphones, just in case I need them. I don't know how loud this coffee shop is gonna be. Also, my Google Calendar is packed up. We have a lot of things on the to-do list. That's another tip I have. If you don't use Google Calendar, I definitely suggest it. You could even just use your reminders app on your phone. Make a list every single day of what you wanna do. Usually I do this in the mornings. Every morning I'll wake up and I'll make a list of the things I wanna get done that day. But I actually, yesterday on Sunday, did an entire list of everything I wanted to do for the whole week. I feel like it's gonna save me a lot of time in the morning because I can just wake up and get straight into it. I don't have to spend time figuring out what I need to do. I can just do it. So if you have a schedule that is a little bit more structured or you know what you need to get done in advance, maybe set it out for a week. I was gonna film on my GoPro, but it's actually dying. It's at 24%. So we'll leave it at home and let it charge. I hope you guys don't mind, but I'm gonna film on my phone while we're out just because the camera is so big and heavy. I don't really wanna bring it. Also, I just feel so much more comfortable pulling out my phone. So I find that I get more footage when I'm filming on my phone. I'll try and be better about talking in public today though, because I've talked to you guys about this before. Whenever we're in public, I can vlog my surroundings, but actually speaking to the camera, spooky. too much because I don't want you to see my area. I'm taking Miko for a walk. 
It's very windy right now. Coffee shop was really good. I got so much work done and it was nice being out in public. Also happened to meet a cute boy. Question mark, question mark, question mark. Anyways, just wanted to give an update. It'll go back to the pretty content in one second. Just be patient with me, okay? Love you, bye. I look naked, I am not. I have a shirt on. Okay. It's 6 41 right now we went on a nice long walk earlier got a lot of work done today so i feel really happy with how we started off the week tomorrow i need to edit a youtube video for friday after work and i don't have any clients i did have a client today i didn't film it but i just had one client it was just a refill so it was like an hour now i'm gonna watch some tv and wait until dinner this is the fit i actually think i wore something very similar to this when i was in new york my hair is in a little ponytail which i haven't really done a ponytail with short hair but i think my hair is at like the perfect length now where it's kind of cute because it gives little bits of like pieces picking pick, picking out peeking out i don't know why i couldn't say that for a second i have on these little hoops simple jewelry i just kept it very 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 simple with this outfit yeah that's it did you have a productive day today nico did you have a productive day you went on an hour-long walk that's very productive Bye guys. Hello, hello. Another day, another workout class. We're going to Pilates in a few. I need to set up my water bottle, get a sweat rag. I've already been working quite a bit this morning. So I just finally got changed into my work outfit. Today's workout outfit is these Alphalete leggings from Alphalete. It's like a little burgundy brown number. I think it's kind of cute. Cute, cute, cute. Ignore all the clothes in my room. A lot of it needs to be donated. I just spent the entire afternoon running around. I had to get a bunch of stuff for Sam's birthday. Tomorrow we're celebrating her birthday. Her birthday was actually yesterday. And I just picked up like a bunch of stuff that is very her and I'm gonna put it all together, set up some balloons and make it really cute. Um, I also filmed content for one of the brands that I'm working with. It's like my first fashion brand that I've ever worked with and I'm so happy about it. Like the quality of the stuff is so good. I'll leave a link down below just because I'm extra nice. So yeah, they're not paying me to say any of that. It's literally UGC, UGC work that they paid me for and I'm just happy. So I share because I'm happy. I wanted to pick up the camera right now because this is a how to be productive vlog and I think part of being productive is staying on top of your diet and like when I say diet I don't mean like your things you're cutting out I mean like your health plan like how you intend to eat I intend to eat things that are like whole foods and like actually getting in fruits and vegetables and I just said vegetables vegetables and also trying to like cook for myself I've been really bad about that the past two weeks maybe even three so I'm trying to get back into it but today it's 7 30 I don't want to go home and cook all this stuff that I just bought I don't want to go home and have to worry about it I'm like already getting like kind of fainty tired hungry so I think I'm just gonna pick up Wendy's and I'm picking up the camera right now to just be completely honest that even when I'm having my like on top of it I went to Pilates today I got so much work done I'm juicing and taking all my supplements like I still have days where I end up eating crappy food because honestly I just procrastinate it and then I end up going for what's easy and what's easy isn't always what's healthy so anyways I'm picking up Wendy's and I'm really excited about it really happy about it but I would be just as happy with like a healthy meal to be honest right now let's go home and get our stuff in order so many bags so much fun I bought loafers maybe I'll give you guys a little haul of what I got when I get home probably won't <laughs> I don't ever know if you guys care to see hauls. Like, are you watching me to see things that I bought? If so, let me know, because I love to film them and I love to just talk, but I feel like I over talk when I'm doing hauls and it's hard to just be like, this is what I got and not talk about it at all. I have to explain 5 million reasons for why I got that thing, you know? I need to go home now. I'm starving and I'm starting to get a headache, so. Good morning. Well, it's not even morning anymore. I think it's like 12. Today is Wednesday and it's actually the day we're celebrating Sam's birthday. I just stuck a bunch of balloons on the ceiling so that when she walks in, this is what she'll see. And I think it looks so cute. If you don't have helium balloons, just get regular balloons and then put tape on the top of them. I saw a friend do this at Kiana's party recently and I'm like, that's actually genius. Yeah, save some money and some effort and time. And it's just so easy, like, come on. And it looks so cute. As long as someone doesn't like pull on it, I'll have to tell her not to pull them down. <laughs> her gift is there. I have a bunch of stuff in here for her. I just went to the health food store, Healthy Planet, and I got her just like a bunch of things that I know she likes either the brand of or she just likes in general. 
There were some things that she didn't pick up last time we were there because she was just getting too many things. So she was like, I have to put this stuff back. So I picked up a few of those things. I got her a card. The card's actually at least funny to me. To a grandma who has spoiled me sweet because she's now an old lady like me, 25. Cheers to that. Miko's at the groomers right now. He's actually getting a haircut. I'm excited to see him. He was really anxious going. And I mean, he's always kind of anxious in the car and like going to the groomers. But he was more anxious this time than usual. I did give him some hemp oil that I got off of Amazon. He takes that sometimes like when there's fireworks and stuff like that. I find it like helps calm him down and just make him like mellow. Um, so hopefully that helps him calm down a bit and hopefully he relaxes once he's like there with her. His groomer is literally the best woman ever. I've gone through so many groomers with him and she is by far my favorite like she will be grooming him for the rest of his life and if she ever moved i guess we would be moving because i need her right now i'm just doing some work and i think i'm actually going to edit some of my youtube video on my lunch we have some fun things planned today sam has a bit of a surprise it's not really a surprise she knows that we're celebrating her birthday today but i didn't give her like any inkling she just knows we're getting her nails done i didn't tell her that i was getting her like real good gifts or not good gifts but that like it was going to be a thing i kind of just like made it super casual. So I feel like she'll be surprised when she comes and there's like special things for her. Or maybe she won't be because she knows me and I love to celebrate people's birthdays and my birthday. I just love like celebrating in general. Also, yesterday we booked our trip to Europe this year. We're going in August to meet Kiana and Parita. I think you've seen Parita on the most recent vlog, but I didn't really like give her a formal introduction. I'm so excited. You guys will see where we're going when we get there. I'll be vlogging the entire trip, obviously. Definitely follow me on like Instagram because I'll be showing probably more there picture wise and like daily highlights on my story or whatever hee <laughs> hee also okay so off topic but i think i'm getting a little bit more muscular and strong from pilates because my arms like should i flex for you do you want me to flex for you i can flex for you look at my arms that's like actual like muscle <laughs> like what i like not me looking like a bodybuilder with this ankle. Let me move back for the book. I'm still a girl. I'm still just a lady girl. Anyways, feeling really proud of that because I think my left arm still has a little bit. It does have muscle, but it's probably like less because it's my left arm. Are you kidding me? Look at, look at me, me. So that's cool. I also think like I just feel stronger. It's been good. I've really been liking the workout plan that I'm on now. If you haven't been watching, basically I used to go to the gym consistently. I'd fall off sometimes and I just didn't like what my body was looking like. I also was feeling very tight and sore and everything. But now I'm just doing like long walks and Pilates and yoga. And I think my body actually is responding to it a lot better. So that's a little update on my health. I've really been beating myself up for ordering food this past week or two. I guess it's really just been a week, but I just haven't been like cooking as much as I used to. And it's making me feel crappy because it makes me feel like I'm not on my routine and like not taking care of my body the way that I would like. It's so hard to do everything right at once. I find it easy to like tackle one area of my life, but to tackle like health and then also social life and then also like finances and then also career and then also like romantic relationships and then also like my relationship with God. And there's just so many things and I feel like it's hard to make sure all of them are up. Like so one of them tends to kind of go down and lately the thing that's been going down is like food, like the food I've been consuming, I haven't been cooking for myself and I just haven't been like eating the way that I should be. I've been waiting until I'm like actually hungry, hungry, starving to eat. Whereas before I like to eat kind of more on like a, okay, this is the time that you should eat, so eat. So I need to get back on it. juice it's definitely less sweet than the one i made i think it was like last week or something it's more like celery veggie but i actually don't mind it i added ice because i like my drinks really cold and it just makes everything easier to drink so it's actually really yummy not mad this i'm always scared i never know how it's gonna turn out because i just eyeball it and i didn't strain it so there is pulp hope that it's not too spicy i'm a little scared I'm not gonna lie. Thank you. 
I'm being dramatic, but it's the pulp that's making it worse than it actually is. Yeah, I need to strain it next time, but they're already in the jugs. I'm just gonna drink it like this. Okay. Yeah. No, I can't. I lied. I lied to you. I'm gonna strain it. Yeah, it's like just way too much pulp. I'm gonna do this shot right now. These are for tomorrow. Or well, tomorrow, the next day. This, this is the polisanto that I've been using. Let's open up some windows. It always feels so good to like do that in my home. I feel like it's like such a nice reset. Clients coming in and out all the time. It's really nice to just feel like my energy is cleared. dinner in bed tonight and honestly a really odd dinner this is sub in a tub i don't know if you've heard of that but it's like this trending thing on tiktok basically it's a sub but without the bread honestly it sounds disgusting not really something that i would typically eat but it's really good i've been eating it for like the past few days now and i'm like i'm surprised by how much i actually like this it's really yummy so i'm having that for dinner and then i have some frozen mango I love frozen mango. So does Miko. He's such a big fan of mango. I'm actually craving bubble tea. So I'm going to see if this curbs my sweet tooth. If it doesn't, I think I'm just going to order some bubble tea for tonight. Have a cute little Friday night Uber Eats thing. I'm going to put on Friends on the TV because I've been re-watching Friends again. I feel like I watch it every year at least. It's been a while since I've re-watched it. So I've been getting back into that. And my bed is so high now. I don't know if you guys saw, but in the last vlog I showed you that I got a new bed, this headboard, um, and like this bed frame. And it's really, really, really high. So Miko can't jump up onto the bed on his own. So I have to literally get out of bed and help him. So I'm gonna do that in a second. Change of plans. I ended up ordering a crepe instead of bubble tea because I figured why not actually get like a real dessert. I'm so excited. Miko, are you excited? Although you can't have anything because it's chocolate. Hey guys, it's like a week later and I'm now editing this video and I just wanted to end off the video here and say thank you so much for watching. Also to let you guys know that we have hit 4,000 subscribers if you haven't seen the number and I just wanted to say thank you so much. Like I know that number may not seem big in the grand scheme of followers, but I feel like that is such a big milestone for me. Like I remember when I was 15 or maybe 14 when I first started like my first YouTube channel and getting a thousand subscribers was like my biggest goal and we have done that four times over now and so I just want to say thank you so much if you're a part of that 4,000 you literally mean the world to me and I just think it's really special having people that are like supporting you prior to something being popular like before I'm at like 100k or a million or whatever manifesting those numbers by the way but before we're there you're here now when I am at 1,000 or 2,000 or 3,000 or 4,000 or even like 10,000 I just feel like I don't know it's such a big blessing to have people support you before it's like the cool thing to do and you guys are just genuinely here for me because you like the content I'm making or because you resonate with something I say or you just like my vibe or whatever it is I just want to say thank you so much that means so much to me and I love you and I promise you that when we're big and we're up I will be paying you guys back maybe not in direct cash but you will be getting my giveaways for PR and you will be coming to events to see me and just like I'm definitely going to give back when I have the opportunity to because I feel like this community is actually so special. The amount of sweet comments I get on my videos and we just all seem so like similar, like we'd be friends in real life and I want that, you know what I mean? So I just want to say thank you. I love you so much and if you're new to my channel, if this is the first video you've watched of mine, please subscribe because I would love for you to be a part of this family. There is more than enough room for all of us and yeah get to 5,000 now because I mean realistically you know we have to go on to the next goal let's be real the Aries in me can't stop but I love you and I'll see you in the next one bye guys